What's up, Sagittarius? This is your girl, Queen Alchemy, and I am here for your weekly reading for the week of March 15, 2020 to March 21st, 2020. This reading may or may not resonate for you. Make sure you guys are watching your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus placements as well. Um, this reading may resonate for you if you have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart. Um, let's see. It may resonate for someone who is in your direct energy as well, okay? Your cards, of course, are already laid out. The first thing we're going to do is move up a little bit. Is we're going to pull a goddess guidance oracle card, okay? So let's do that. And pull a goddess guidance oracle card for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March 15, 2020, for March 25th. Okay? Let me get one card for the sign of Sagittarius for the weekly. Stop it, Matthew. One card for Sagittarius. Thank you so much. Leap of faith. It's time to take a leap of faith in your life, Sag. Matthew, get down. We have the goddess that came up is Kali. Endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can enter Sagittarius. It's about you releasing this week. Releasing the old, the familiar, and um, you know, possibly stagnant energy or people or places or situations that no longer serve you, Sag. Okay? It's about ending and accepting the new, okay? So at the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Some of you guys could have this in your chart, one of these signs in your chart. Um, or you could have in the past, you know, been dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. But if that's not the case, this is you moving in or making the, um, the, the, uh, the effort and working towards becoming that King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is very financially stable very inwardly stable very balanced so far i feel like for a lot of you guys this is that energy you're moving towards okay some of you guys could be dealing with leo aquarius i'm sorry maybe you are dealing with aquarius and you have it in your chart some of you guys could be dealing with leo aries sagittarius pisces cancer or scorpio okay that's f fire in water definitely some of you guys definitely have fire and water in your chart very strongly a three of wands. This is you looking towards the future when it comes to wanting to love again. Some of you guys, if you're not physically this week moving towards new love, this is you, the foresight, like looking like being optimistic. Some of you guys wasn't feeling optimistic about your love life in the recent past, but now this is you being in that energy, right? We have the Bless Your Heart card. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. Some of you guys are heartbroken right now. So it's like part of the healing process for you is being able to focus and look towards the future when it comes to your love life, right? Like for some of you guys imagining the, the quintessential partner the perfect partner that would be for you and this is manifestation energy that i feel for some of you guys this is like you manifesting that perfect like maybe some of you guys you feel you feel um that you given a lot to a situation um whether you did or you didn't this is you coming out of that energy for some of you guys right like, you know, or maybe you didn't give enough in relationships and situations, right? So you're trying to work on being in this king of pentacles, whether you're a man or a woman, it does not matter. Whether, you know, okay, for for some of you guys, this king of pentacles energy is strictly speaking about your inner stability, right? And, and. This is some, okay, so for some of you guys, it's like. What you really want is a partnership, like a really healthy partnership where two people can work together. Two people bring the same amount of everything in on the situation and you guys just work together, right? This is you guys working towards that. Or this is you working towards that, manifesting that, right? We have the Eight of Wands. 
So for some of you guys, <laughs> there may be two things I see. Somebody from the past or somebody presently that you're going to be sending some communication towards. And it could be a queen of cups, a cancer, right? Someone who is very, or somebody who is very emotionally balanced and stable, right? This person can be a very um, good example for you, right? This is a person that you're very passionate about, Sag. This queen of cups, Cancerian, Pisces, or Scorpio energy. If that's not the case, this is you becoming, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. We all have masculine and feminine energies. I always say that. Um, this is you guys becoming more emotionally balanced, right? And stable and in that energy, owning your divine power, recognizing who the fuck you are. This card almost slipped out when I was shuffling. I decided to take it out because I decided that, I mean, now that I'm reading it, it makes sense that it was almost out. It didn't come out like the rest of the cards, but intuitively I knew that it needed to come out. Balancing masculine and feminine energies with this queen of cups. Whether you're a man or a woman, owning your divine power, that is going to give you, once you, Sag, once you come in this energy of balancing your masculine and your feminine energies, you allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. Once you successfully balance that energy, you're going to be in this queen of cups and then you're going to be in this knight of cups for some of you guys you may feel very charming you like it like for some of you guys man or woman very alluring this week sag very attractive you may have a lot of suitors coming towards you maybe about eight of them okay yep definitely eight um eight people i know that seems like a lot for some of you guys but that is what it's going to be because you're balancing yourself right you're allowing your natural charming side to kind of come out right some of you guys, this has to do with forgiving, forgiving yourself and forgiving outside people. You are really working on, um, you know, that type of progressive energy with the eight of cups. This is turning your back on your emotions that do not serve you. Right. The old stagnant, negative, passive, aggressive, resentful, vindictive, that type of energy turning your back on all of that energy all that nasty crud i'm i'm, I'm not shading sanders i'm not i promise you i'm not this is just what i'm i'm just giving you the messages this is that energy of just turning your back on all of that bullshit right and revealing your true self sag as you allow others to know the real you you'll feel love for who you truly are so as you purge that old stuff that does not serve you you allow people to see your real you and that's what's going to bring in if it's, it's, it's resonates that new love for some of you guys right it's it's going to allow that energy to start pulling in even if you don't physically see or meet somebody right now it's still going to bring in that energy for you okay Work on forgiving yourself and work on forgiving others, okay? All right, Sag, that is the end of your weekly reading. I hope that it resonates. I hope that it helps you. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves, okay? And keep on healing. Peace.